You guys asked for another abscess pop, so here it is. This rabbit came to me with a large facial abscess. These often are related to dental disease and tooth root infections. Ideally, a CT scan is always recommended for best imaging, but in this circumstance, it was not feasible for the owner. Instead, it was elected to go straight to opening up the abscess in a process called marsupialization. First, the rabbit was anesthetized using a combination of injectable medications and sepofluorine gas. The skin above the abscess was numbed with lidocaine. It made a stab incision with the blade to release the pus. There certainly was a lot of it in this case. Unlike many other mammals, rabbits have very thick pus because they lack an enzyme in their heterophils that liquefies the pus. It's because of that that simply draining the abscess isn't enough. In ideal cases, removing the capsule entirely can sometimes be done. But if that's not possible, you really have to open it up, flush it out, and at minimum marsupialize it so that continuous flushing and packing of the site can be done. When it's marsupialized, the walls of the abscess are sutured to the skin, leaving it open. Then you can pack the site with things like manuka honey or other antimicrobial agents and flush it daily to continue to remove anything left over. The rabbit was given pain medications and antibiotics to go home. The antibiotics that I chose were a combination of oral and rifloxacin and injectable penicillin. It's extremely important to note that you can never give oral penicillin to a rabbit as it causes life-threatening damage to their delicate GI microbiome. However, the injectable medication is often used for treating abscesses such as these. Even then, abscesses in rabbits and guinea pigs can be very challenging to completely get rid of. They often have severe dental disease that has to be managed chronically. I wasn't able to get a video of marsupializing this abscess, but you can kind of see it in this view that I took of the mouth. In this case, the teeth also had to be filed down, and one of them even had to be pulled. If you're interested, I have another video of marsupialization in a guinea pig that walks you through the process step by step.